Hi, Kevin Purcell. Today I want to show you MP Seminars. Uh, this is a training course that you can subscribe to or you can purchase courses, courses from mpseminars.com. I've got the website loaded up. Uh, if you're a Logos user, you might recognize the name Morris Proctor. And so let me just show you what, the, uh, what you get for your 20 bucks a month if you subscribe or $200 a year. Across the top, you've got a training library, and that's what we're looking at right here. Notice it has tabs for both Logos 7 and Logos 8. If you're still using Logos 7, which is the older version, you can click on that, and there's about uh, 10 courses for that. Or if you're on the new version, Logos 8, like I am, you can go in here and um, check out what they have. Now, I'm all the way logged in, and so here's what you'll see if you're a subscriber. I'm not going to show you the actual courses. I don't think that would be fair. Uh, but I will show you the interface and what it looks like. So right now I've been going through the What's New in Logos 8 course. So I'll click on that. And uh, right now their site is running a little bit slowly. This isn't typical, but as I'm recording this, it is running a little slowly. So when you open it up, notice it gives you a, a course progress. So I'm 24% complete. You see that this up here at the top and then also along the right side, it gives you a list of all the sections and under each section you'll notice there is a menu of uh, lessons so for example this is a section about the guides there are 10 lessons in this guide I've done the first two so they're checked with a orange check mark the ones that are not complete are just this white circle with a little bit of a ground a gray uh, border around it so we'll go ahead and we'll click on change Logos guide from guide and this is one I've actually already watched, so I'm not going to watch it again. But you notice it, it looks an awful lot like um, a Vimeo background, and uh, Vimeo's video interface. And I'm guessing that that's probably what uh, they're using, although I don't know that for sure. It could be something else or just something proprietary. It could be YouTube, but it doesn't look like YouTube. It looks just like Vimeo to me. So down here, you'll notice uh, you've got your volume, the play and pause button, the progress bar and uh, with the time signature of where it is in the course and then this is the settings this is something that I, I kinda wish they would change they're probably handcuffed by the fact that they're using Vimeo but if you click on settings you can go from quality to from audio to set your quality you can't use 8 1080p unless you go to the uh, full screen view and then you also can change your speed uh, if you want it to go slow so you can follow along better or as I prefer get through the courses quicker I usually set it at 1.5 and then I hit the big uh, the full screen button I'm not gonna do that right now and then I just hit play so that's all I'm gonna show you just because I don't want to uh, show you know this course that you're having to pay for and then when you're done you'll hit this mark complete button and once I hit mark complete it's automatically going to take me to the next course in that uh, in that section so notice that before this was unchecked now it is checked and it'll take us to the change logos guide with editor you can uncheck these if you want to uh, well I thought you could but maybe you can't yeah yeah you well it just takes you back to that course it, it doesn't uncheck it or change it uh, if there's a problem you can always click on here on occasion I did find some problems there was one course that what he was showing in his course was not what my version of Logos looked like. They probably have updated it, made a very slight change in the user interface, and uh, Morris Proctor hasn't gone back and reshot that video for that minor little difference. I will say this. The quality of training is excellent. There's a reason that Morris Proctor is the official trainer for Logos Bible Software. I do like the user interface with the one exception, and that is I wish that this would let me set this automatically one time and follow that until I change it uh, but that's a, a minor thing the value of this let's talk about the cost it's twenty dollars a month or if you want you can spend two hundred dollars and buy it for one year if you don't want that you can buy the courses individually and um, some courses are only available to those who subscribe but notice here up here at the top there is some free training if you click on that it looks like a blog and click on this blog entry and he'll show you how to use this it's the keyboard selector which has been added to the search 
box in the most recent Logos 8.8 .8 update, which just came out this week. Uh, so it talks you through how you can do that, uh, showing you what, what you need to do. Now there's Camp Logos. Maybe you don't want to pay for the whole thing, but you just want to one time attend a Camp Logos. You can do that in person for $300, or you can do it online for $129. This $319 is if you need to do it in person and you want to rent one of their computers. And then over here is the uh, account section. Change your account settings, change your password, email, such as that. And then you can go here to log out. I'll log out just to show you what it looks like if you just came to this without being logged in. And so you uh, uh, just look at this and, and it talks about the different ways that you can subscribe. Uh, the good, which is free training in their blog. Uh, you can pay per course. Let's take a look at that. By the way, the all access is what I just showed you because I am a subscription all access member and I clicked on view course and it didn't change there we go so if you want you can buy these courses the the most comprehensive video reference guide for Logos 8 A to Z is four five hundred dollars let me give you a tip don't buy this right now because I'm guessing that sometime in the next few months Logos is going to update to version 9 I don't know anything I don't have any inside information on that I just think that's probably going to happen based on past uh, experience and then what's new in Logos, you can get this. I'm going through this course now. You can pay $100 for it. If you're pretty good with Logos, you just want to see how the new features work, that might be a, a good option for you. Uh, you can look at the blog uh, of Logos 8 video blog. That's for members only. And uh, you can't pay for that. And then here's some other courses uh, down here. For example, you can get something inexpensive like their time-saving tips and tricks for only $50. Uh, labels, discover how to tag resources for only $30. Personally, I think that's a little expensive for what that is. Um, I would never pay that. But, you know, since it's included with the training when you buy a subscription, I think it's worthwhile. Uh, this is what's new in Logos 7, kind of out of date. I don't know that I would want that. Uh, these are two other things, how to study the Bible and how to re prepare a message on his uh, format. I'm not a big fan of his iBeam message format method. But you might like it, so you can check that out. Anyway, this is uh, what I consider a, a decent value. It's a little bit expensive, but you get what you pay for with Morris Proctor. He's one of the best. Yes, you could go over here to Logos.com. If you do that, click on Support. This will pop up and Logos Training, and you'll be taken to this page. And there's lots of free training right here. Believe it or not, the people who work for Logos and train on the software are not as good as Morris is. And I'm not being paid anything to say this. Uh, this is a purely third party, uh, un, uh, I, I, I'm not being given anything. They didn't give me any free access to their service or anything. I just think it's a, a very good quality service. And so you may want to check it out. But if you're not willing to pay for it, this is a good way to do it. There are other places you can find Logos training, Udemy. U D N E M Y is a service that has one. And there's another guy that does it. He's pretty good, but I don't think he's as good as Morris is, but it's a whole lot cheaper. So, you know, kind of poke around and take a look.